Good morning, good morning. Praise the Lord. God is good and he is worthy to be praised. Welcome to another devotion. This is Elder Ray. The title of today's devotion is called Redeeming Losses. And the scripture reading for our devotion is John chapter 16, verse 16 to 22. The Bible says in John chapter 16, verse 20, and this is Jesus talking. He says, truly, you will weep and mourn over what is going to happen to me. But the world will rejoice. Amen. And what he's talking about is the crucifixion. When, you know, they, when he died on the cross, the brutality of it, it makes us mourn in our hearts. But we rejoice because God raised them from the dead and Jesus paid the price for our sins and had given us the gift of eternal life through faith in him. Amen. God did not design us to endure loss. Adam and Eve, as well as their children, were supposed to live forever. But all that changed when Adam and Eve sinned. Everything became difficult and loss became a normal part of life. Loss of innocence, loss of perfect fellowship with God, and loss of life. Since Adam and Eve were not designed for loss, grief became part of the human experience. But in his amazing love, Jesus gave himself on the cross to redeem us and redeem the loss we all suffer. But there's more. Somehow he brings good things out of the worst circumstances. Here's one example. Henry P. Crowell, affectionately called the autocrat of the breakfast table, contracted tuberculosis when he was a young boy and couldn't go to school. After hearing a sermon by Dwight L. Moody, young Crowell prayed, I can't be a preacher, but I can be a good businessman. God, if you will let me make money, I will use it in your service. Amen. Under the doctor's advice, Crowell worked outdoors for seven years and regained his health. He then bought a little rundown Quaker mill at Ravana, Ohio. Within 10 years, Quaker Oats was a household word to millions. For over 40 years, Henry P. Crowell had, had faithfully gave 60 to 70 percent of his income to God's causes, having advanced from the initial 10 percent. See, like I always say, you can't be God given. Sooner or later, we all are going to suffer a loss of some kind. But in the midst of those difficulties, we can be confident that God is willing and able to redeem even your worst losses and pain. And the prayer is, Lord, thank you that you redeemed the pain in my life. Amen.